It's always a lot of fun when, uh, you know, when October's here and it's baseball season and it's football season. You got basketball right around the corner, and and we're still practicing. It's always uh, it's always some good learning examples in there for guys, and it's good to see the game played at the highest level. And what a game last night! It was pretty fun to watch. You uh, you have any connections with anybody on those teams? Uh, I would say John Lackey would be my main connection. I mean, with the Cubs, he, he pitched for me a while back. And a lot of fun to watch him compete and what a career he's had. I mean, for a guy to have between college and uh, big leagues have four rings, that's pretty good. You had to enjoy seeing a Red Raider pitch in the World Series as well. Yeah, I see Josh pitch. I, mean, I don't know Josh personally, but it was really neat to see him pitch throughout the playoffs. and. Uh, really neat to see a story about his dad, and uh, I think that was compelling for everybody. And uh, he represented Red Raider Nation very well, and a uh, guy can really pitch. I mean, obviously, uh, right now he's at a point in his career, kind of like John also. I mean, both of them at a point in their career where they have to pitch and know how to locate and add, add and subtract. And that's always a little funner to watch for, for us most of the time than the guy just throws 100. What have you liked about what you've seen from your team so far in the fall? Uh, we've done a pretty good job. Guys have done a pretty good job of coming out and just uh, working at it each day, trying to get a little bit better each day. Uh, I really feel like in the last uh, 10 days, some guys have made some strides that uh, maybe hadn't made strides at some point. And it's always fun this time of fall to see uh, some things come around for guys. I mean, there's. There's always an adjustment period for your, your new people, uh, whether they're freshmen or junior college guys. And then there's adjustment for some guys that didn't play all summer. And so uh, it's been a little bit of both, but it's been the last 10 days of two weeks have been a lot of fun to watch them. Really looking forward to seeing them over the next two weeks to a month also. You're going to have a lot of new guys in your outfield this fall and next spring. So uh, what's that kind of looking like right now? And, and just try to get some people that don't know, but just kind of feel about your outfield situation right now. You mean we can't run Smith and Nesloni back <laughs> out there? Not. I guess not. I guess not. Yeah. It uh, looks like Tanner's going to play some center and a lot of competition for those other spots. Uh, you got Cody Farhat back that's played some center. I don't want to leave anybody out as far as that goes. You got Anthony Lyons back. Ryan Long's been out there a little bit as far as returners go. I don't think Zach Davis is back either. I don't think we'll get to run him out there. Uh, we all know he's going – all those guys are going to be missed along with Corey Rayleigh and some guys that other – other guys that stood out there. And then uh, as far as new guys that uh, are out there, you guys will be able to see that in red-black. Uh, John McMillan's a guy that kind of stands out with his power. Uh, there's a number of guys that have played pretty well this fall, uh, and there's a number of guys that could come on between now and then. You mentioned Long playing in the outfield. He's been mostly an infielder for you. Hargrove, another guy that's played infield and outfield. How much does that help you as a coach to have versatile guys like that that can play all over the field? Well, I think we always emphasize being a baseball player, whether you're a pitcher or a hitter, and show up, put your spikes on, and we tell you go to the plate, dig in. And uh, have try to have a good at bat, and uh, as far as being able to move guys around the field, I think that gives you flexibility within your lineup. Uh, the old saying kind of goes: at some point, you know, if you if you swing the bat, they'll find you a place to stand. But at the same time, you got to be able to cover that area, be able to play defense. And uh, we've definitely got a group of guys. I mean, like in the outfield again, Connor Beck and. Connor Beck's a new guy that's uh, played really well. Uh, there, you know, there's some guys that have shown the ability to do both, which is what you want to see. You, you mentioned it's Anthony Lyons. What kind of opportunity does he kind of maybe have after kind of buying his time, maybe as his DA or somewhere else? Obviously? Well, it's the same opportunity he's had for the last three years. I mean, it, kind of what I just said. I mean, you swing the bat and you'll, we'll find you a place to stand. And Anthony's defense is really – come on. Uh, he's playing better defense. I wouldn't say he's an elite defender, uh, but he's he does have some length to him. Uh, he can run. He can go get some balls. and uh, you know, He's done a good job. And as far as opportunity goes, play better than other guys, you get a chance to go play every day. How 
How is uh, Dylan Dushek's progress coming around? Yeah, it was good up until about a week ago. About a week ago, we shut him down for a while. So uh, he'd thrown a couple of times, might have pushed a little too hard. So you probably won't see him in the red black. Good question, though. Everybody wants to know the answer to that. Uh, Guy wins nine or ten games. Everybody wants to know. Speaking of versatility, you used a couple of the freshmen, John and McMillan, both in the field and on the mound. Is that the plan moving forward, or will you just uh, put them one or the other? No, I think both those guys have the ability to do both. And uh, we'll see as far as time will tell, as far as swinging the back goes. Time will tell as far as how much, you know, how many innings they get. I mean, you obviously, you earn the right to get in the lineup, and the game will tell us, you know, for the most part, it kind of tells you what you need to be doing. And uh, as far as pitching goes, they need to go earn the right to do that. Uh, Josh has shown an advanced, you know, ability to pitch in what little time we've seen him. That's why we've pitched him very little. Uh, and John, we've been trying to get him as many at-bats as we could, and that's why we've pitched him very little. So both those guys could make an impact on both sides of it. Can you speak to kind of your catcher situation and what you feel about things there right now? Yeah, Colton's come back and throwing the ball really well, Colton Sanchez. and. You got two freshmen and Michael Berglund and Clay Kelzer uh, that have caught the majority of the fall and done a really good job back there at times. Uh, they're freshmen, they're young. There's been some balls go to the backstop. You don't want to go back there. And there's probably not a coaching staff that's harder on catchers than we are. I mean, we ask a lot of them, uh, we demand a lot out of them, and expect a lot out of them. So we're probably never, never going to give you the great answer there as far as they're playing like Johnny Bench right now. Uh, but at the same time, they've all shown and it really the ability to throw. Uh, we've thrown the ball really well this fall and uh, it's been, been pretty good as far as receiving.